देखें जी आज हम बात कर रहे हैं फिशिस पे ये हमारा फिश के वाले से पहला लेक्चर होगा आवाज आ रही यस सर जी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द सुपर क्लास वाइक्सिस और जनरली कॉल एज फिशेस हेयर दिज आर द आउटलाइन ऑफ आवर चैप्टर एट द स्टार्ट वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट एवोल्यूशनरी प्रस्पेक्टिव दैन फाइलोजनेटिक रिलेशनशिप फर्दर विल डिस्कस अबाउट द सर्वे अबाउट फिश फ्राम अग्नाथन टू ग्नाथन स्टॉम एंड आलमोस्ट ऑल टाइप ऑफ द फिश विच आर नाउ लिविंग इन डिफरेंट फादर बॉडीज further we'll discuss about evolutionary pressures in relation to locomotion nutrition and the digestive system circulation and gases exchange in the nervous system and all the other important functions of the body which are concerned and finally we'll discuss about the further phylogenetic considerations uh, of this class how this class is leading to the evolution of other related mm-hmm. classes at the start these are the objective uh, of the entire uh, week that we are now going to start uh, to describe evolutionary perspective of the fishes then uh, we will discuss about the characteristic and detailed classification of the fishes further we will discuss about the evolutionary patches which are required to live in the water and finally we will discuss uh, some uh, f- uh, representative uh, animal of this group these are the slos you will learn uh, about uh, in these classes and this is the first uh, lecture of uh, this chapter uh, we will uh, discuss about the evolutionary perspective classification and characteristic of the fishes uh, and uh, slightly we will discuss about the survey of the fish uh, up till where it will be possible today as per time okay Here, when you say about the evolutionary perspective, we have to say about the craniata. Craniata uh, are the subphyla. This is uh, another classification of the organism. Craniata means the organism uh, having skull or the cranium bone, which in case brain and other important accessory receptor uh, of the uh, animal like eyes and internal ears. Uh, there are two infra phylum of uh, uh, this sub phyla uh, first is the hyprotrity and the second is the infra phyla uh, that is the vertebrata this is another classification uh, almost not described in the miller and harley and fossil record uh, of the craniate the craniate mean the organism having brain skull or uh, cranium bone uh, Uh, they have been abundantly found approximately in the deposit of 500 million years ago and here when you say about uh, the deposit the first thing we are to discuss about the astracoderms astracoderms were the fish like organism that uh, extinct that are belongs to the uh, agnathans and supposed to be extinct agnathans and they uh, possess bony armors and they are the bottom uh, they were the bottom developed here in these uh, diagrams you can see yes ye mic aap apne band kar le baaki log apne mic band kare yes when you say about a stracoderm they are supposed to be the extinct agnathan agnathan mean uh, they don't have proper jaw here they date back approximately 4 uh, to 5 to 500 million years ago these are the fossil records 
show these are the extractoderm uh, to a different organism belong to the extractoderm this is a reconstruction just early fishes were uh, called extractoderm and were slow bottom dweller animal covered with thick bony and scaled armor mean uh, uh, their body was composed of different type of the scale or bone like structures or plates and believed to be the first animal with the backbone this is very important thing they were the uh, first animal uh, to possess backbone two group of the uh, extinct uh, you can say fishes that are living today contact fish and ostrich fish they are supposed to be evolved from uh, stracoderm that exists today uh conduct teeth mainly uh, uh composed of uh, fishes which are uh, which skeleton is made of cartilage like uh, shark rays cats etc and ostrich these are the fishes which are generally called as bony fishes because they possess bony skeleton next this is another fossil a conodon that is uh, cladignathus cladignathus is a, a you can say fossil very uh, important and uh, approximately 5 10 million years ago it has been found abundantly in the fossil deposit of uh, 5 10 million years ago and these animal have been assigned to a variety of the phyla but recent information has led many zoologists to accept them as a uh uh farm uh, uh they may be considered as the early vertebrates and uh, they also possessed uh, uh, large eyes they was having uh, eel like body and uh, they were also uh, having denticles dentine is a type of uh, you can say component of the uh, bone now the organism of the vertebrate possess and these structures may represent the earliest occurrence of the bone in the vertebrate other hypothesis in the origin of the bone suggest that it may have arisen as denticles as like denti dentines dentine is a you can say component of the a bone in the latest uh, or the extant organism however uh, we can say that uh, these organism on the behalf of their body appearance and fossil record it was suggested that they have been living in the form of uh, prehistoric sea predators they were leading their life as a predators this is the cladistic analysis cal- uh, analysis uh, or you can say uh, this is the phylogenetic uh, tree of the fishes shown here at the first stage this is uh, the group agnathan and the second are the agnathostom agnathan include the magzini cephalospidomorphy and uh, astacoderms astacoderms uh, are all extinct now and these are uh, there are two classes magzini and cephalospidomorphy they are uh, the existing classes they are still living uh, containing one or two representative from each class and the next uh, are the gnathostom gnathostom include placoderms and chondrichthyes chondrichthyes uh, include the living uh, member but the placoderms all have been extinct and the next uh, is a class ossichthyes ossichthyes contain actinoterizae and sarcoterizae and uh, from these uh, uh, organism further uh, other uh, tetrapods the organism bearing four limbs originated and all form of the terrestrial habitat were uh, you can say uh, occupied and here uh, in this tree how to read this tree uh, you need to uh, uh, see these derived characters here and further uh, you have to see this group uh, how this group containing these character and further uh, they were evolved to the next and uh, move on to the next group and we got something new Uh, having uh, something new group having a very unique properties or the abilities here you can see this uh, cladistic analysis is present in the miller and harley here next the classification of living fishes <coughs> living fishes uh, generally uh, belong to subphyla uh, vertebrata and uh, basically there are two groups agnathan and gnathostom further these groups are classified into different classes and uh, subclasses 
like a gnathan are the organism that lack jaws and paired appendages mean they don't have uh, proper jaws and appendages they contain cartilages skeleton a persistent notochord notochord is present throughout yeah, the life notochord is present throughout the life and uh, they also contain two semicircular canals in their ears hag fishes are the ones in the same circle now that may be present a few you know the two canals mean hag fishes uh, 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 belonging to class maxini uh, they have one semicircular canal uh, that that look like a fusion of two semicircular canal and next is the class maxini class maxini uh, uh, mouth with four pair of the tentacles tentacles are present around the mouth and uh, uh, but their mouth don't have a proper jaw like structures or jaw structures uh olfactory sac open to the mouth cavity and uh, there are approximately 5 to 15 pair of the pharyngeal slits here the best non example are the hag fishes uh, there are a lot of the interesting thing about the hag fishes uh, you can easily see a paragraph in your book uh, about uh, hag fishes in enter inside any uh, other fish uh, worm uh, it used to prey on and uh, uh, consume all the internal organ and finally emit out uh, from that dead body or the corpse and leaving behind for decay when you say about the class cephalus pedomorphy they are also belong to the agnathan mean they don't have jaws and uh, the best example is over here the lamprey next are the gnathostome gnathostome are the uh, fishes containing jaws and paired appendages they Uh, may uh, have replaced uh, notochord in the form of vertebral column and there are three semicircular canal in their uh, internal ears and uh, here you can say uh, there is a class chondrichthyes chondrichthyes are the fishes containing cartilages skeleton and they lack a percula and a swim bladder or the lung and sharks kids rat fishes are the example there are two sub classes the lasmobranchii and holocephali And when you say about the class of sea things, they are the bony fishes. Definitely, uh, they have upper cula on their, uh, uh, you can say, gills. And there are basically three subclasses, but here mentioned two subclasses of the, uh, you can say, osseous, sarcoterygii and actinotergii. Is there anybody waiting to enter inside the class? आवाज आ रही है सबको? सर आ रही है लेकिन स्लो आ रही है आपको अच्छा यस सर आ रही है जी 37 पार्टिसिपेंट हुए हैं अभी तक जी नेक्स्ट आर द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ द फिशेस गोल्ड ब्लडेड वर्टिब्रेट द ब्रीथ विद द गिल्स एंड मूव विद फिंस definitely these are the very important uh, uh, properties of the fishes most numerous of all vertebrate with over 30000 species of uh, this group uh, this is the most successful uh, group of the uh, you can say organism living in the water bodies here they may be the smallest uh, animal philippine uh, is land gobi as the uh, pandaka pygmya and that may be consisting of half an inch round about their uh, total length may be like this and uh, largest may be the whale shark that is rhinchodon typhus and uh, there are around uh, that may be a, a reach up to 50 feet in length and with uh, several tons of the body weight next there are different type of the scales which may be present uh, on the body surfaces of different fishes and they are further divided into four type mainly tenoid scales that the serration of the uh, on the edges and rough surfaces basically uh, these uh, scale are rough to touch and uh, feel rough to touch and uh, and they contain different type of the serration i mean different type of the cuts are present on the surfaces uh, hence they show a rough texture and generally called as tenoid scales 
cycloid scale are the most famous scale of the fishes because most of the fishes belonging to bony fishes they may possess cycloid scale and uh, smooth surfaces and edge and make fish feel like smooth and slick and uh, gamoid scale there are very uh, thick and heavy scale similar to scale on the ancient species of the fishes uh, these are uh, now uh, living representative of the fishes gars and birches they contain gamoid scales on their body next are the placoid scales placoid scales are generally present on the shark and rays uh, and they are pointed and uh, similar like teeth uh, so they <coughs> are dangerous and they are very hard and uh, uh, they are also modified uh, in front of the region of the body or interior regions into teeth like operators or teeth like structures next <coughs> the skin gland produce slimy mucus mean uh, there uh, may be different type of the skin gland which produce different uh, amount of mucus and different type of mucus which uh, present the body of the fish very uh, slicky and uh, smooth and different type of the chromatophore chromatophore basically are the cell which produce different type of the colors and uh, hence these uh, give fish their different colors and different structures which are used for moving and swimming and maintaining balance in the body are the fins a very probable structure and very famous structure for uh, locomotion in the water bodies uh, that is fin and there are variety of the fins uh, as per the location where they are present on the body they may be casual they may be dorsal they may be lateral and uh, uh, they may be anal uh, as per their location as per the uh, they are present on the body they are named as uh, some have adipose uh, fin small fleshy fin located on the back these are the uh, type of the different fins which are present and which uh, may be helpful in locomotion and uh, as well as with locomotion they may be helpful in other uh, body uh, maintaining activities or balance activities next next are the agnathan now come to uh, details of the agnathan agnathan mainly contain magazine and cephalus pseudomorphy as per your miller and harley you will see these two classes magazine and cephalus pseudomorphy these are jawless fishes and they have round tube like bodies covered with the slimy skin and because they are tubular uh, uh, you can say they are having tube like bodies and tubular bodies uh, and no scales bodies made of cartilage and uh, example are the lampreys and hagfishes lamprey migrate near to the end of their life to spawning beds in fresh water here uh, this is very interesting in these species like other fish species uh, uh, these uh, fishes generally uh, live in the marine water lamprey but uh, at the end of their life they migrate uh, to their original uh, you can say spawning beds where they have been uh, you can say uh, they have been uh, produced or they have been reproduced uh, and uh, they once again start the recycle uh, cycle and uh, uh, reproduce their next progeny and die over there Amphioxus like larval stage uh, that is the larva emocete larva emocete larva is the most uh, common larva in these groups here as per uh, per another classification infraphylum hyprotreaty that is the class maxini hagfish is had spotted by cartilaginous bar and lack vertebrae and retained notochord notochord is present throughout their uh, body through the entire life stages and uh, four pair of the sensory uh, tentacles around mouth and uh, ventrolateral slime glands 
basically slime gland are present which ma make the body very slicky and smoothy and uh, whenever you try to catch or hold this fish in your hand uh, it will produce a big amount of slime and uh, that will uh, make you uh, irritate and uh, the animal will slip out from your hand and they are marine and scavenge dead and dying fish here you can see this is a representative of uh, the hagfish here they are uh, uh, present slime glands and paired common apertures for all gill pouches these are the uh, gill pouches and sensory tentacles are present around the uh, mouth and there are different type of the fins which uh, uh, may be median and uh, uh, generally they don't uh, contain a uh, variety of fins they are very uh, conservative having the fins uh, only median fins on their body next is the class uh, class uh, petromyzontida and they are the marine and fresh water uh, why it is said they are the marine and fresh water i mean uh, most of their life they uh, uh, live uh, in the marine water but uh, at the end of their life stages they generally move towards the uh, fresh water for spawning uh, most are predator as adult filter feeder the larvas brook lampreys are the uh, famous lamprey of this group uh, life cycle in all open water adult stages and streams of the river larval stages generally uh, they uh, live in both type of the water bodies marine and fresh water hence they are uh, generally uh, uh, involving life cycles and life cycle involve open water the adult stages and streams or uh, river larval stages here uh, this is the uh, petromyzon marinus of the uh, lamprey this is uh, here in this chart shown the life history of the sea lamprey uh, uh, here uh, in the open ocean they generally uh, feed on the fishes in open ocean and further they uh, you can keep their mouth open and containing uh, teeth and uh, also possess pharyngeal slits and next uh, uh, when they need to uh, go for spawning they return to their original uh, rivers uh, where they have been originated uh, for mating uh, and move towards the freshwater streams where they reproduce and uh, produce chemocyte larva that uh, is partially buried in the sand and next uh, the uh, young uh, lamprey migrate downstream to the ocean once again here super class gnathostomata gnathostomata mean uh, gnathostom they uh, develop jaws from internal uh, interior pharyngeal arches and pair appendages were also uh, seen in these groups and uh, they contain generally three uh, classes uh, chondrichthys actinopterygii uh, and sarcopterygii here at the first we will discuss about the chondrichthys Huh? They have they have movable jaws. Three percent हो गया. Mic बंद करें. Most chondritic teeth are carnivores and uh, scavengers, and most are marine. Generally, we know that these all uh, cartilaginous fishes belongs to the marine environment. most of the time in addition to their biting mouth part and paired appendages chondrichthys possess epidermal placoid scales placoid scales are also present on their body and cartilaginous endoskeleton is present basically uh, uh, there are two subclasses subclass elasmo branchi and class of class holocephali uh, uh, they uh, contain uh, different representative organism of of uh, these subclasses and next 
are the class osteichthyes they are the bony fishes and their skeleton is generally made of uh, hard bones hence they are termed as bony fishes and scales and swim bladders may be uh, present and upper cula generally cover in these uh, organism on the uh, gills and upper cula is present on the gills and 95% uh, of all fishes belonging uh, to these classes bony fishes is the are the well known uh, fishes from the class osteichthyes here these are different organism class chondrichthyes here this diagram are shown for the class chondrichthyes subclass elasmobranchii uh, at the a you will see uh, reef sharks these are the reef sharks here these are the reef sharks and uh, uh, at the b you will say umbol uh, say stingrays that is uh, urolo uh, and the third uh, in the sea you will see about the class holocephali the rat fishes here i think so uh, we are just 6 minute away from the meeting going to end next these are different scales and teeth of the shark here you can see these are the teeth uh, old are uh, teared away and new are uh, replaced with uh, the coming new one and uh, uh, you can say mouth is shattered throughout the life in by these teeth and so they are very uh, active in predatory lifestyle and this is these are the scale present on their skins these are also very tough and hard and they may be very harmful on touching. Uh, 